Um, you probably know this application, maybe, uh, which is the thing I do, Carla. Um, I started last year like an experimental project about adding uh, Jack applications inside Carla as a test to see if they could work or not. Uh, one of the reasons would be because, like Audacity, that the ports disappear and appear, and it's a pain in the ass because you want to connect things maybe to the output of Audacity and not to the system. And it was a way to get around this, among, among other things. The issue with, with this um, is that you cannot really make it work as a plugin because you want to save the state and then you want to restore the state again. There was a way around it, which is to pass the file name after the program, and then you save inside the program, and then, yeah, you can kind of load the state. But is, there is a better way, which is with session management. Um, Laddish has the same, not Lad, I mean, Laddish has the same thing that you can need to pass the parameter, like the file name as a parameter, as an argument to the program. Jack session is, well, not well supported by most applications anyway. And the session manager that we are picking in general, the ones that still use standalones anyway, is the non-session non manager. So I did some tests and made it work inside Carla. And actually, just to let you know that I am not using Jack here. Not so sure you can see, but there's Carla outputting to Pulse Audio because I'm running on the laptop and conserving battery is more important. And I don't usually do music with the laptop. Um, so there is no jack running at the moment. I believe if an, even if I do something like this, I do jack control status, there is no jack running. I want to add then a new application. This is the di dialogue that Carla has regarding adding jack applications. I even used the one from the organizer of Sonoy, which is Patroneo. Something that works very well with NSM is actually made specifically for, for NSM, for the, this session management. You have to set the um, fixed number of audio and MIDI inputs and outputs because I want the ports to be static always. They can never change, otherwise, yeah, you get in the same issues. Uh, I did something very recently, which is to internally have six MIDI port, six, no, 16 MIDI outputs, but it actually only exports one. And then each MIDI output, uh, Carla will see what's the index of each port and then sets that as the MIDI channel, which this is mostly for, specifically for Patroneo. I do have to save the state once, like, I just call it a random thing, so that there's a, like the non-session manager needs a path where it stores things, and this is enough. Patroneo, I have to set it as non-session manager. Click OK. Now you have Patroneo running, which I can see in the patch bay. The thing is here. Uh, the tra transport is sync because. Carla passes the transport, and there's a little bit about the PPM. Anyway, Carla sends the transport to the applications, to the Jack applications, because Jack supports this kind of transport. The main thing is, I'm going to demonstrate this here. I did some changes. I'm not touching Patroneo. I can actually even close it. It is still running behind the scenes. They're not really close because that's something that NSTM uh, tells that it should be able to do. I did a save inside Carla, not inside uh, Patroneo. I'm closing the session. I'm opening Carla again. And if I have here the file. OK, so I have this. Ooh now we have a crash inside Patroneo. Yeah, yeah, you, you can see something is going on there. <laughs> but any, anyway, I have, I have a, pre a previous... <laughs> I have... Not this one, actually. I have something that I was saved just to test if the multi multimedia output was working or not. 
So what we have here is Patroneo and then a MIDI channel filter. So I can pose, pass input one to one plugin and input two to another plugin. I can open it up to show what's going on here. So you have a, one melody, another thing, it's, this is very crappy, but anyway. I can just demonstrate this, this thing is playing. So this is the kind of bassy thing and the melody is just going down. But it doesn't talk to Jack at all. It's everything passed through Carla and because some time ago I also did the option to export this. You can right click, you can export Patroneo as its own LV2 plugin and it yeah, just run whatever inside whatever you want. One yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> now, something else that I want to show as well. Because if I'm taking control of Jack, maybe I can can take control of X11, why not? <laughs> So what I'm going to do here <coughs> is to just demonstrate something. Ooh, adjust the path. Yeah. So this is BCV Rec, as you probably know about this. Like it's a modular thing. It said it has its own plugin format because for this case it makes sense. The thing I did that was really annoying is that because this is a standalone application. When you click on this cross, you know, the standalone closes because, yeah, that's what they do. Uh, so I also intercept X11 call to close the window. So if you go here, like, um, how can I show this is actually playing something? Just a second. Let's output this to VCB Rec. Not here. And this to the audio output. So VCV rack is doing some audio. And I'm going to close it. And everything is still running. Because Carla knows that you close the window. So instead of actually closing, it will just hide it. And if you go here on the rack, as if it's like the rack of Carla, it, because it's treated as a plugin, you click again. And it shows the graphical interface. The application does not know anything what's going on. <laughs> the bad thing, because this is impossible to do, is if you close via other means, say the quit menu, it actually closes the application. This one I cannot do anything about. But at least closing like with the X button, yeah, that, that is nice. Okay. And <laughs> But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a free application or open. Uh, this is FL Studio. The thing is, I used this quite a lot in the past, so I know it quite well. Um, in a search for a MIDI sequencer, um, on Linux, because I, can, I really am used to this. So I, I had the target of trying to use Linux plugins as much as possible, but if you use something like this, that's impossible. Unless, you know. <laughs> One thing I did recently, this is still very experimental, um, is to have Carla as a VST plugin, because Carla is a plugin, yes, but built in a very special way so that it becomes a Windows plugin, but it's a Windows plugin that is talked to Wine, and then make Wine talk to the Carla native version. So this like it's a rap this is coming for the 2.1 version of Carla. Uh, I have Carla running. I have, for example, Path V1, which Rui might know it does not run on Windows. So now you have this loading inside Carla. Let's see if I can get this piano roll. What happened is I probably have to connect things. 
uh, because it's trying to use um, something else. It's probably very crappy because it's audio. So what you have here is basically path V1. And because that is not enough, um, I also want some effects, not just this. So let's run uh, VS, yeah, this one. Let's load up the rack as well. And just let's put some effects, some random analyzer, I don't, I don't know. You know, cough stuff running on top of Windows. So you have your cough analyzer stuff. Uh, where do I have my maybe things? Anyway, I can just press this. I ha do have to put this on top, just so you can see. So yeah, you can run your entire set of Linux plugins inside a Windows application inside Wine. And my goal is just to make it easier, so that if you have an application that you like to use a lot to do sequencing and other things, and still want to keep using Linux plugins, you can. And that way it makes the migration a little bit easier because not a lot of uh, applications still support Linux. And hopefully we, I don't know. For me it makes sense because I don't want to use win, Linux, uh, like Windows plugins, you get stuck to them, but I very miss FL Studio a little bit. So it, it's, it's in between there. Uh, I guess this is a VST. Yes, like FL Studio only runs VST. There's also the DX plugin format that nobody uses. But yeah, I mean, could run on macOS in theory. You will have to spend quite some time to make it work. Um, I, I, honestly, I don't care to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Uh, this is for me, and for me, I use Linux, so it makes sense. Yeah, if you run something for macOS, Apple will shut it down. Like, they now shut down the 32-bit compatibility, which means most 32-bit plugins, I mean, most, not, not everything that is 32-bit will not work at all. So, better to keep on Linux where we have control over things. But anyway, thank you. That's it. <laughs>
one good use case would have to have like a MIDI going to VCV rack and then VCV rack just take the audio out of it. That's perfectly doable. And will work as a plugin. If we get it the um, NSTM inside VCV rack and then also implement the height so it like it doesn't show the quit button anymore, then for sure we have it running as a plugin forever. Awesome. Without it being commercial, which they are trying to go for now. So yeah. <laughs>